trust the process, but hard work is required. Tammy C. Walker, I am the owner of Dreams Are a Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love, sending you light and love. Before I get started, please hit that like button. That's really important. Thank you so much. If you are new or have been returning to this channel and have not subscribed, how dare you come to this channel and don't subscribe. You need to subscribe. Come on, you all. And now if you're listening and you are a small YouTuber, now that's a shame. You know you need to subscribe. Because one thing that I do is support other small YouTubers. And those that's us that's a thousand and under. Support each other. You subscribe to my channel. I try to jump in and subscribe to yours. Come on, guys. We got to work together. This is how you build your channel. Anyway and anyhow. See, I just said trust the process, but it takes it takes some hard work. So we got to work together. Trusting that process. Oh, my God. I sit up here and I say those words with great ease. But it is not easy. It is not and sometimes like with people like myself i'm in my head a lot and i've gotten this horrible habit of worrying and having you know some anxiety that is a big no-no and i know better than that and isn't it funny when you know better than things and you sit up there and do it it's called being human that's what it's called <laughs> i feel like in my heart life is a journey until I leave this earth, I am on a mission to learn. Every day I'm learning something. Even on the not so good days, I still learn. And I hope you do too. But we do have to trust the process. We can't force things. As a therapist, I see this. Somebody comes to me with a problem, a bad behavior, an addiction. And they want it to be fixed overnight. But, 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 they don't want to do the damn work. And that's, for me, as a clinician, not to judge these people or put them down because I'm a client too. I have my own therapist, so I have to do my own work. You can't do that, though. You can't show up and don't want to do the work that is prescribed to you. It's like me, you know, when I was going by the house. Um, in 2022, I had paid down these credit cards. Woo, woo, woo. Now that I've decided not to go that route, I had the audacity to charge some stuff. And now look at me looking funny. But I have to pay those things off. And it's not going to happen overnight. Just like I didn't pay them off overnight. I mean, so I run them up overnight. I have to, you know, so we have, we want it easy. But nothing in this life is easy. It's really not. I can just ramble off a whole bunch of things right now. That's not easy. Talk to the mother of three and the father, the parents of three. And they're trying to put two in college and one is in high school. It's not easy running those kids around the soccer, getting them situated off to college. I'm seeing that firsthand. My niece is headed to college tomorrow to dc and i'm really happy for her but you know as the auntie i'm worried like oh my god please keep your room clean please be a good roommate to this dorm to your new roommate uh, i'm not worried about her studies my niece is very smart actually but i want her to be disciplined and don't go there and lose her shit because she's you know gonna be free she's gonna be free she's 18 she's a grown woman though but it's, it's, as an auntie, I'm a bit concerned, you know, just hoping everything goes good. I know freshman year is quite an adjustment, and I'm sure my sister feels even more nervous than me. But I got to trust the process, don't I? But she's got to do the hard work. Talk to a couple that's been married 10 years, even five years, even 20, 30. I know couples that's been married this long, even more, 40. They're going to tell you point blank. It was some hard days. It was some times I thought we wasn't going to make it. Da, 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 da. Now, there are some couples that say they don't argue and, it, you know, 
whatever. I don't know if they're being transparent. I'm not saying all couples argue, argue, argue. I always bring up my last relationship because that wasn't the relationship that we had. We're not argumentative, neither one of us. Both of us believe in meditation. So I, I give credit to God for me, from my past. I had to learn a better way of communicating. I never was an argumentative type. So let me just put that out there. That's just not my style. I'm more laid back. My last guy is very quiet and um, just chill, real chill. So we did well together, but we didn't argue. So I guess that is true. So, but there are couples that bicker and argue. And the worst things that they can do is that tit for tat. So success in a relationship takes good communication. Don't talk about your partner behind their back. Don't talk about your husband or your wife behind their back. Tell them. And that's the one thing I see, the biggest thing. People want to moan and you know what, you know what, and moan about the person to their girlfriend, to their mother, to their sister, to their brother, to their friend, but they're not going to the source. Always tell your partner what you don't like because this is how it can get fixed. Yes, there's going to be some hurt feelings. They're going to get mad. But you got to lay it on the line. You have money problems. You have intimacy problems. Whatever. Outsiders are getting into your relationship. The communication has to be there. The successful couples, they communicate. They keep it real with each other. They spend time together. That's another thing I'm seeing. Now, I do couples therapy. That's why I'm on that. If your husband likes fishing get the fishing pole out and take your butt fishing with them if your wife likes this movie every now and again you're gonna have to go to the movie theater and watch it with her it's give and take you can't say i don't want to do that i don't like that i don't like that why did you get married why do people get married i don't even understand because you have to do some things together but of course you're gonna hang out with the guys and have a cigar and go to the Bears game with the guys without your wife or your girl. But of course you are. Of course your girl going to get a manicure, pedicure with her sisters. So that's what I do. Who cares? That's stuff that you don't even have to talk about. But you have to do things together. You want that to be your friend. If you don't want your wife or husband to be your friend, don't get married. Because that's what it's about. Give and take, ups and downs, ebbs and flows. And you can't, you can't change marriage because that's what it's about. And they should come first. Hard work. Talk to anybody that's been married five years or more. They're going to tell you. And some are going to tell you some very negative things. But in that, easy to point fingers. But what about the self-work? If you do the work on yourself... As an individual, when you become one with your husband or your wife, it'll go better. We always want to blame our partner for everything, but we're perfect. Is it that important to do to be right or do you want to be happy and live in bliss? If you're not married now, if you hear me, and you desire to be married or in a relationship, whatever you want to be, and you're single, do the work right now on yourself. What does that mean? Get you a journal. Do some meditation. Do some self-reflection. Get you a therapist. Now, I think the therapist thing is getting misconstrued. You don't have to be like super duper duper depressed or have anxiety to talk to a therapist. You can be struggling with who you are, maybe some problems from your childhood, maybe you're just not feeling the best mentally, you know, like, eh, I feel off, sign up, do your EAP, your six sessions for free, that's better than nothing, and chit and chat with that man or woman, and tell them how you feel, and do that work, do some yoga, go running, go walking, do stuff, be out in nature, do some work on yourself. That way, when you get to your person, you don't have to point the blame. And we have to let go of the negativity that we have had from other relationships. 
when you mention relationships, some people just frown up. Or like, I don't want to be. I don't want nobody. I had a bad relationship. Hell, all of us did. I shouldn't even look at a guy no more after some of the guys I dated and after my last marriage. I should be done. I should just take what they say, hang up your bootstraps. But why do that? It's all a part of the game of life. And guess what? I got to take 50%. I chose those guys. So I'm not saying they were all bad. Some of that stuff was my stuff and being in a bad spot in life. So we have to take responsibility, but we got to really do the work. It's not easy, you all. I have to, every Thursday, I have to jump on my computer at 5 o'clock and talk to my, not every Thursday, every other, and talk to my therapist. And guess what it involves? My own stuff, my breast cancer journey, losing my mom, losing my dad, losing my last relationship, my work goals, my career goals, da 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 I, sometimes I don't want to talk about that stuff. It's it's painful, but that's the way to a better way for me because I can't keep pointing fingers at guys. I need to point the finger back. Those three fingers are, I'm pointing my finger out right now, but three are pointing back at me. Do the work on yourself. Stop making everybody else the, the bad guy and, and take ownership of you. You're not a victim. You are not a victim. Then we depend on people. We think, oh, once I get married, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> I remember being with Eddie. I was very happy with Eddie. But it would be sometimes I would still be kind of depressed a little. Not a lot, but I do remember. And it had nothing to do with him. It was my own depression that comes up here and there. I was like, eh, I'm not happy. But it wasn't that I was unhappy with him. It was just... Me, when you're married or in a long-term relationship, it doesn't make your stuff disappear. Okay, then you got the people. Oh, I'm going to buy this big house and deck it out. I'm going to be so happy. That's how I thought when we bought our house back in um, the 90s. I wanted this house. It was nothing fancy. Just a small starter home, but it was cute. And me and my ex-husband, we he he blah, 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 blah. he was an architectural major in high school. So he knew how to, he had an eye for decoration, colors. Um, he's not dead. I mean, like he was, he, you know, is. And <laughs> why did I just say that? Oh, God, forgive me. Anyway, we decked out that house. And it was a cute house. It was, we had it retro. It was kind of like a retro modern look to it. But I hated that house, and I hated my life. I hate it with a big H, and I'm not a hateful person. Hate it. So don't look at a house and think like, oh, once I get this house, I'll be so happy. Once I purchase this uh, Tesla, I'm going to be so happy. All my problems are going to go away. If you're overweight, once I lose weight and get this cute shape, I'm going to be so happy. No, you're not. Once I have my own private practice, I'm going to be so happy. No, I'm not. So we have to stop putting that happiness on a thing. Happiness is fleeting. You know, we're, we're emotional creatures. Today might be a good day. Tomorrow may not be. You know what I'm saying? So don't bank your happiness on a shiny object. I'm sure people think, oh, Beyonce's so happy. You know, she's worth $500 million. She's going all across the United States and different countries. And she's performing. Now she has her daughter with her. Sometimes her husband's, husband is with her. Do you know the hard work that goes into that lady show? I don't care if you're a Beyonce fan or not. Come on now, you all. She's the hardest working lady in show business, with the exception of Jennifer Lopez. Because I don't even know. What in the world Jennifer Lopez be doing? Movie here, singing and uh, Jennifer Lopez be all over the place. But she hard work, both of them. Their work ethic is second to none. And that's the thing with those entertainers or perfectionists or musicians. They'll stay in the studio two days. You know, it's like it's like it, anything can be too much. Anything. But nevertheless, it's hard work. Beyonce been in this business for 20, 30 years now. This is not no overnight success. 
She done put in her work. People sleep to Mariah Carey. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Wake up, everybody. Lady writes all her songs. And I had all her CDs. She came out in 1990, I do believe. I had a vision of love. And I'm like, who is this lady? But it's hard work. But Mariah Carey knew when she was in New York, I'm going to trust this process. But also, I'm going to do the hard work, and it may mean skipping some meals. You know, I could, I'm trying to remember the words. Ooh. It was not too short long ago. I was abandoned and alone without a penny to my name. So very young and so afraid. No proper shoes upon my feet. Sometimes I couldn't even eat. I often cry myself to sleep, but then I had to keep on going. This is her song, Never Knowing. Those are real words because she wrote it. Um, What's the damn name of the song? <laughs> Think it through the night. I'm getting to the name of the song. Mm-hmm. Make it happen. Dang, I forgot the name of the song. <laughs> Make it happen. That took hard work for Mariah Carey. So, trust your process. Whatever it is, don't take the, the quick route out. Do the work. You want to lose weight? Cut back on the sugar. You want to lose weight? Drink more water. You want to lose weight? Walk every day. You don't have to do the two hours in the gym. Start with walking. Get some five-pound dumbbells, eight-pound dumbbells, 10-pound. Do that. Get, um, what's her name, Jillian Michaels. Go to YouTube. Purchase it for $1.99, $2.99, whatever her thing is. You can lose weight with her, and she'll have you do 30 minutes. Do that kind of stuff. Go get a gym membership. Go after work every day. You work five days a week, make the gym part of your day this it takes hard work you know my sister said i don't know how you did it how did you get your master's degree oh it meant staying up late sometimes i would be up at two three in the morning finishing the paper but guess what i paid forty seven thousand dollars for that degree so that forty seven thousand dollars stayed in my etched in my brain and i had to graduate in may 2018 and your girl did with very good grades because i'm i'm focused when i and i'm a numbers person not that I'm good with math and numbers, but I use money or numbers to motivate me. People be, I don't want to go to work today. August 11th, that's my next payday. That makes me get out the bed and do my job, you know. And it's a little lax this summer, but it don't matter. That's not my problem. I'm still doing what they require of me. So I know it's a lot of rambling going on. That's my style, as you are probably already figured out. But I, I really mean all this stuff I say, and I say what I do, and I say what I'm going through. I struggle. I'm in the trenches right with you all. This channel is not about, oh, Tammy Walker's the great expert, and she's on here telling you everything. Tammy Walker doing what you're doing, too. We in this together. And when we are authentic and transparent, I think your listeners can connect better. There's somebody, you know, acting like they got it all together. None of us have it all together. All of us are learning every day that we're on this earth. We are learning. It's a journey. That's why it's called a journey. That's why it's called life. Day by day, bit by bit, we're going to get to where we need to be. But you're not going to get there if you don't do the work. And stop blaming everybody else and take responsibility and do the work. And if you keep doing it every day, I just had to journal for two pages in, in my journal. I have to do that. It gets the anxiety out of my head. Do the work. Don't do what I do only. Do what works for you. Only you know what works for you and work it. But you are responsible for yourself. You got to trust the process, but you got to work hard. Tammy C. Walker signing off. Thank you all for listening. Take care. Bye-bye.